Hi everybody, it's Beth, and today I'm making a cute little shelf sitter. It was one of these little houses from Dollar Tree, one of their salt and pepper shakers, um, some off-white lace, piece of scrapbook paper, Mod Podge, white chalk paint, uh, beige acrylic paint, some florals, and hot glue. I started by removing the back of the little house, just pushed it right off, and then pulled off any excess paper from the frame and the backing, and then gave the frame part a quick sanding. And next I painted the frame part with the beige acrylic paint, and I did two coats of that. I painted everything except for the very back of it. Next thing I did was put a generous layer of Mod Podge on the backing of the house and then place down my scrapbook paper. I smoothed it out the best I could with my hands and then took a piece of parchment paper and then just gave it a quick ironing. This smooths out any bubbles or wrinkles. Also dries the Mod Podge. And then after that, I did an outer layer of Mod Podge on front of the scrapbook paper and then just set it aside to dry. And next I painted the salt and pepper shaker. I just used one of them and painted the entire thing with white chalk paint and I did two coats. And then I took the backing from the house once it was dry and sanded off around the edges to remove the rest of the scrapbook paper. And then I gave the salt shaker a quick sanding just to remove some of the paint to give it a nice textured look. Once that was done, I took some of this lace I got from Dollar Tree and just cut a piece of it off big enough to wrap around the top rim and just hot glued it into place on the back. And then wrap the rest of the lace around, making sure it was all covering that very top part and then hot glued it on the back right over that beginning piece. And then I decided to add in some twine just to give it a little bit something extra. Wrap the twine a couple times around the bottle and then tied it into a little bow. And then I reattached the back of the house to the frame using hot glue. And then I took some of my floral picks. These are uh, lavender picks I believe I got at Walmart. And I did use eucalyptus at first, but I didn't end up keeping that in there, it was just too much. So I just placed the florals inside the salt shaker until it was nice and full. And then placed it in the house just to make sure that the florals fit nicely. Put some hot glue on the back and the very bottom and glued it into place in the house. 
And then that's where I decided to take out the eucalyptus. And that is it. It was really easy and I think it turned out adorable. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.